Mano Guedes, Italian style, style because uh, this is how we used to eat the pizza in Italy. Ooh, hello guys from my studio Copelli, welcome back. We got one pizza, we got another pizza. Which one you think, well, there are two different texture of pizza. I'm going to show you two very similar oven. I'm gonna put a side by side and uh, see how and which one, how they hold the temperature, how the pizza will cook, which one is faster. This is the, the most... <laughs> Uh, the most equal uh, competition uh, of uh, pizza oven because those two pizza oven they look like the same we got unicaro 16 and the bertello 16 guess option i reviewed both of this oven and then i believe it's a fair comparison they look the same they work about the same uh, well we're gonna see if they work about the same i mean we're gonna go ahead and test this oven they deserve to be side by side and see if they are going to pass the exam of soft and crunchy in the same time so let's go ahead let's start enjoy this video go ahead smash the like subscribe and uh, enjoy the video watch it to the end enjoy Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da -da -da. okay so now before we put the air prayer let me talk about a little bit of this oven and why today we are going to compare these two beasts i mean take a look i think they're about the same they look exactly the same so basically this is gonna be a fair competition that means this is going to be a fair competition because uh, they are about the same uni caro 16 bertello it's also 16 inches they are about the same same thickness of uh, the stone let me see see i can show you right now same thickness of the pizza stones same size same thickness on the like the size of the the, the, the inside the only difference here is the uni have a door and bertello does have a door but also bertello have a uh, inside the flame that goes under and uni just from the top both of these beasts here they have uh, options of uh, of the wood but Ber bertello comes with the option of uh, uh, wood and gas so basically if you are cooking with gas you can put the wood this one you have to basically take off the gas and use only wood so this is a, a little comparison there are the same exactly sides of the oven almost same same material actually this is a little bit more compact they are the same exactly almost same exactly dimension dimensions yeah, no, yeah, they, they are the same exactly. They mean this one, the uni comes with uh, the hood because uh, if you want to close and cook it with, uh, uh, you want to close and cook it with, uh, with the door closed, you can. Bertello, what I was saying before, you can put the, the gas comes out also from the bar. So basically you don't need a door. Let's see the back. See, both ovens have the gas about the same so this is two speed two speed here and also two speed on this we have uh, same thing same attach gas and gas let's see one comes with the door one comes the door a little bit smaller so this is what we we're saying so basically you switch you switch with this this is the option for the wood gas and wood option separate bertello basically you don't need to take out this you can easily put the wood here and you still have the the gas from there from their side like you can see this is smaller here see this is big let's see the back side let's see the back see that's the back side about same same let's take a look of the inside that's how it is this is a little bit more uh, uh, more shorter a little bit shorter than this this is definitely a little bit bigger than so now let's take a look of the front see 
this is well branded brand from this side brand the inside brand the outside right there uni it doesn't have the brand outside oh, actually yes it does have the brand so i think is uh, it's a very fair comparison because the oven they look about the same so let's go ahead and let's start with the first thing uh, let's see the difference of uh, uh, which one goes faster in temperature so let's go ahead and let's fire up so this is how you fire up this let's turn on the gas gas on so everything very honest let's go ahead and let's fire up there we go we're gonna hold it a little bit so we're gonna set the oven at the max at the max to see which one goes faster in temperature same thing let's go with this there we go we don't really see the flame oh my god strong you don't really see the flame but it's the, the flame on top and on the bottom let's close it max temperature same thing max speed like you can see one this one you don't really see the flame but it is flame it's hot see i can touch it guys to show you this is cold and this is cold to show you the difference boom 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 let's get the gun and let's see the temperature right now we are we're gonna measure the middle of the oven right now it's 112 this is 112 so they're the same of course i'm gonna keep the both ovens open because uh, if i close it definitely this is gonna go faster in temperature but uh, this is a, a fair comparison i think it's fair to keep it open both but of course this way if i close it the temperature is gonna be is gonna go more up oh one thing here uni comes with the thermometer with the battery is really low it comes with the thermometer and the bertello doesn't have any thermometer so that's a different let's keep it open this one is uh, it's open all the way also the uni have this to control to keep it if you want to cook uh, like with the door closed you have to keep this open if you wanna if you want to cook with the door open you're gonna close this so at this point we're gonna go ahead and close it and uh, uh, Bertello basically it got the flame see now I can see it a little bit flame, flame from the top and flame on the bottom that goes under the stone so that warm up the stone a little bit more faster i believe uh, so let's wait and let's see you in 30 35 minutes and see the temperature how uh the different which one it went up in the meantime let's get some ingredients because we're gonna go ahead and make some get the camera down we're gonna go ahead and make some uh, real pizza the best pizza okay guys it's time uh, to i prep everything here because uh, now we're gonna make the pizza and test this beast these ovens how they cook the pizza the main thing but guys so 30 minutes passed by and uh, we have to check the temperature how hot they went up they went so we, again we're gonna measure in the middle of the oven where the where the brand is so this one it's a 734 fahrenheit in uh, celsius we got 300 400 celsius so it's perfect after 30 minutes to make Neapolitan pizza. Bertello. Oh shit. Wow. Bertello, we got 900, 900, 950 Fahrenheit in Celsius. Wait, what is the? In Celsius, it's about 500. So it's too hot because, of course, this one really remember that the flame is on top and also under the uh it's under the stone so this one of course it went too hot so what we're gonna do is we have to definitely lower down the temperature at the minimum because otherwise we're gonna go ahead and burn the pizza 
I'm gonna go ahead and make the pizza right now and then I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna basically compare the two ovens side by side when I make, when I cook the pizza. So I'm not gonna be able to make both in the same time. I wanna focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and compare. I'm gonna put the both videos together and see the timing, which one goes faster, which one cooks. Uh, once they're cooked, I'm gonna put it side by side and see which one cook better or if they cook the same or whatever you guys think it's a, uh, uh, it, whatever, whatever you guys think is the best, go ahead and comment below. So let's go ahead and let's start to make the perfect Neapolitan pizza. I'm gonna teach you everything. This is the pizza dough, take a look. Fantastic, perfect point of fermentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and make, uh, uh, and make the pizza and then I'm gonna show you both ovens when they're cooking together, how they look like. Uh, how they are going to cook the pizza. So the most important thing here is how you take the dough out. Oh, 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 oh. How you take out the dough from the box. Let's go ahead, let's close it right away. This is the dough, the dough nice and fermented. Go ahead a couple of times on the, on the flour, a little, uh, little bit of flour on the floor. Make sure the top stays on top and the bottom stays on the bottom. So now press. Press, 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 see the air to the cross. So we're gonna press and fill the table. So we're gonna press the cross, the air to the, to the cross, to the edge. Now, flip it over one more time. If you feel the dough that is sticky, go ahead and add more flour. So what I'm doing here is I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, a couple of times, just like that. Press, one end here, one end, you put it on top, the, the, the pizza. So until, you get 10 inches. So one end, the last tip here is put on top, take off the flour, and then make it large, make it large, and then let's put it down top on top. Make sure you take out all the flour. Voila, boom. Let's go ahead and let's make the pizza. So one scoop of tomato on the, in the center of the pizza, just like that, and then Little circle, little circle, little big, big, big circle. Oh, guys, let me tell you something. If you're new on my channel, I have, a, I have created the most unique masterclass where you learn everything A to Z. Uh, just check out the link below. It's if you, this is if you want to level up your skill at home or your business, go ahead and check out my masterclass. It's amazing. So besides that, little bit of Parmesan cheese everywhere. And then we can put the base or whatever you want. But at this point, we're gonna make the perfect pizza. So this is how you make Neapolitan pizza. Voila, so now a little bit of uh, olive oil. There we go. Ready to go in the oven. So make sure, pinch a little bit of flour on the peel, pinch it, and then stick the peel under, like that. Now we're gonna make a nice 14 inches pizza. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger than uh, the usual. So same size, same, uh, uh, same everything. Let's go ahead and let's put it in the oven. So now is when I'm going to put the both videos side by side to see the, the difference how these ovens they will cook. I'm gonna go ahead and lower down the temperature even on this to be able to be fair on the competition. Guys, we are cooking the pizza like you can see in my background. We have uh, both ovens, so you just judge at the end of this video which one is better. Okay guys, we just finished to cook. Let me make some space. The Bertello. Of course, I have the other one ready here. Space, we're gonna compare side by side versus the Uni. So guys, those are the pizzas. Like you can see here, it's very technical. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go very technical, like you can see here, we have the, the two pizzas. So, uh, we got the Uni versus the Bertello 16. So, this is how we cook the top. See, like you can see, this is the Uni. How it is, it's sa same, te same texture, because of course the dough, and this is the Bertello. But I noticed that the Bertello cook it a little bit more faster, like you can see, the, the mozzarella, you still can see a little bit, and uh, basically that means that the, the flame was more hot and uh, 
but well the, the texture of the cheese it all depends you know of the the flame so those are the the pizza so now we're gonna see the bottom of the oven uh, of the bottom of the pizza so this is the uni see the bottom we're gonna go ahead and check out the wall sides of the pizza like you can see okay that's it no tricks here and then let's see the bertello definitely oh, definitely more crispy than uh, the the uni this is a little bit more crispy it's not burnt i can tell that it's not burnt it's just a little bit more uh, uh crispy because uh, hold on see so only only this part here this little piece here it's a little bit uh, too uh too crispy because uh, basically i messed up i went too much inside and because the flame is under the stone uh, basically that's what we got uh, I mean uh, that, that part of the back part the back part of the oven it gets a little bit too crispy so but the rest of the pizza after I, I discovered that the that the ish I after I discovered that in the old when the back was too hot so I decided to cook it uh, back there so those are basically this is the the comparison uni so now you tell me now you tell me which one now you tell me which one you think it's better, the uni or the bertello? Which one you, you think work out better for you? So uh, one more thing is, uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna talk about the price, so I'm not gonna compare the price because some website they have one price, another website they have another price, so I don't really uh, know the prices, so I cannot compare the prices. So here I'm showing you how those two ovens side by side, how they work, so hopefully, this video was very uh, good for you. Let's go ahead, let's put a little bit of basil on top to be sure that those pizzas are the same. Good looking pizza. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. A little bit of extra olive oil on top. Whoa, there we go. And voila. So let me give you a close look of uh, how they look like. And Okay guys, it's time. Soft and crunchy. It's soft. I think both of them are soft and crunchy, same texture, but now it's time for you to comment below and see and tell me what do you think? What do you think? Just comment below. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this pizza. Mm. Because I love pizza. Pizza is a serious thing. I'm going to go ahead. Italian style. I'm gonna go at the Italian style because uh, this is how we used to eat the pizza in Italy by the ocean. <laughs> 